In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to connect to a CompuMatter server's files and folders when the user does not wish to be part of the domain. The purpose of a company domain would be to lock things down. A few of the reasons, the common reasons, a company might have a domain in their network is to ensure that their staff requires permission to install any programs on their computer or to ensure the staff can only see files and folders that you wish for them to see, that they are a part of some group and that group can only see certain folders. If you don't need these kinds of lockdowns, then they don't need to be part of a domain. We can go a more casual route, which lets everybody see everything on the server and you can give them access uh, by simple file sharing. So in this video, we're going to show you how to allow your staff to connect to the, your server's files and folders without using a domain. Here we're using a Windows 10 environment. Windows 7 works the same way. Go ahead and open up File Explorer. Uh, we'll click on a folder down here. You could also get into it uh, from your start menu. Um, but the bottom line is you want to be looking at your files and folders. Now up at the very top in the address bar, we're going to have you type in two slashes in the word server matter and uh, hit enter and this will look over the network for your server and come to the point where you need to enter the network credentials. Now this computer belongs to John Smith. It's important we've added John Smith as a domain admin before this part happens. With that done we log in, hit OK and that allows this computer to log in to the server. The files and folders you're seeing here are at a CompuMatter store. The files and folders for your business are going to be different. They're going to be specific to your business as has been configured by CompuMatter for your server before we shipped it out. One of the common needs we see with our clients is to take these shared folders and maybe associate them with a fixed drive letter. Like you see we have the local C. Uh, we have another one associated with a drive letter called X. This means we don't have to go through this process of finding the folder we want. It'll be just easily available through a drive letter. I'll give you an example of how to do this. We're going to right click on a folder. We'll take this common receptionist folder. I'm going to open that up for a moment so you can see it has a file in it called test. Coming back here, I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to map a network drive. And here we will choose the letter R, since uh, that sounds typical for receptionist. And we've got to make sure this reconnected sign-in is checked. That'll ensure when the computer restarts, that letter stays constant. We'll click Finished. And then it will open up our newly mapped drive letter. You can see letter R. You can see the test file I showed you earlier is present. And you can see it also appears in our left-hand navigation bar under this PC. It also shows here. Now I can right click on that. If I want to shorten that up a little bit, I can rename it and just call it R so we don't have that long string of characters. But that's how that works. And now if I click on R, I've got a very quick way to find my stuff without navigating the uh, files and folders from the shared drive letter. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on files and folder sharing without the use of a domain. Thanks very much for watching.